Hi, it's Cassie, artist in residence with Imagine. Today I'm going to use the new Doolit metal etch die to create this fun background on this card. So before I get into the card though, I just want to show you really quick this awesome new mat that Imagine has come out with. It's got the grid on the back and it's gray and I absolutely love it. So okay, right into the card here. We're starting with three colors of Versa Magic ink in those dew drops and they are Aquatic Splash, turquoise gem and night sky and then I've just spritzed it with water so that I can get kind of a watercolor effect um, on this beautiful stamped image and I'm doing this to three pieces of paper here as you can see I've got those three strips done and then I'm gonna run them through the Gemini Go which is an embossing um, die cutting machine so you could use whatever machine you have this is just the one I had and I'm cutting all three of those pieces of paper out at once I want to have a lot of these doolet shapes um, to create my background so that was helpful for me to get that done quickly so there you can see all those fun shapes those beautiful colors and patterns and now um, I'm going to stick them down onto this craft cardstock First I'm covering it with clear gesso and then I'm going to um, use those same three colors and create sort of a water watercolor background effect on it. And the reason I use the clear gesso is to make sure that I had the desired result when I did this watercolor background so the, the, the um, ink would sit on top of the paper. So I spritz it with water there. I'm just kind of moving the paper around the ink to give uh, a nice effect that I'm looking for. And then I dried the layer before I went back in for a second um, layer of that ink to make sure that the colors could sit on top of each other and not just sort of get muddied together. So once I was happy with the background, then I put some tear tape on the back and I'm going to use this really beautiful like brushed silver mat uh, for the background. Uh, looks really great with that with that um, watercolor background there. So I decided to use uh, glue dots. I thought, thought this was the easiest way to stick all of those awesome doolets down. So put the glue dots on the back and then now I'm just going to um, cover this entire background with these doolet shapes. Uh, putting them in a row and sort of just overlapping a little bit as I go. Uh, on each layer and you'll see when we get to the top here that kind of you know this could be like mermaid t uh, tails or fish scales or you could flip them over and uh, you know you could make clouds out of it you could, there's so many different ideas to use this doolet so I'm super excited about this um, so then I have this sentiment that I have inked in verse fine Claire nocturne and it says you have to trust your own madness uh, I use the embossing buddy there as you saw in the beginning um, so that I could emboss it with black embossing powder and then I'm just going to stick that right into the middle of my background I use glue dots here again behind the words so that you couldn't see the um, the adhesive through the vellum. So I'm going to stick that right down in the middle and then I found some really pretty um, sort of holographic uh, scribbly flower kind of washi tape and I like this because it helps stick that vellum down and also uh, provides a frame for that focal point uh, sentiment. And then I'm going to take this five and a half inch square um, base cardstock and put the um, tear tape down so that I can stick my card front right onto it. And that is it. That is my final card. It was really fun, quick, simple to make. I love the way this background turned out. And again, there's so many different um, ways that you could use this awesome new doolet die and I would really love to see what you can come up with. Um, I hope you enjoyed this project and please visit imaginecrafts.com. Thank you so much.